good happy Thursday evening July 29 2021 I'm Riley King welcome to this Thursday evening edition of sports with Riley King let's get started right now first step Toronto Blue Jays in Boston Red Sox game yesterday. The final score of the game, Toronto Blue Jays 4 and Boston Red Sox 1. The Toronto Blue Jays won the game yesterday. Toronto Blue Jays at Boston Red Sox tonight at 7.10 p.m. You can watch tonight's game on Nesson and MLB Extra Inning. Let's hope the Boston Red Sox can win tonight game. Let's go Boston Red Sox. And let's take a look at your Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 medals count. Here is that list for you, the top five. And let's take a look at some winners on Team USA. Here is a look at the artistic gymnastics on Team USA. Here is a look at um, Team USA freestyle swimming. And here's a look at um, swimming Team USA. And another Swimming Team USA. And that is a look at some Olympic coverage for you. Patriots training camp day two recap with that cock. Let's take a look at that video from Nesson Sports. Meredith Gorman here in the PNC Bank Sports Corner, joined by Zach Cox, who's over at Gillette Stadium. Day two of training camp just wrapped up. And Zach, what do you have for us today? How did it look out there? Well, obviously, as is going to be the case throughout this training camp, the, uh, the real spotlight was on Cam Newton and Mac Jones, the, the two competitors in this Patriots quarterback competition. Uh, I thought Mac Jones looked a lot sharper than Cam Newton early on in practice, especially during a uh, this one seven-on-seven seven period. Really showed good anticipation, got the ball out quickly, uh, w w was making his reads a little bit more decisive than Cam Newton. But as was the case with some of Jones's practices back in the spring, he really faded at the end. He, he had a, a pretty poor close to practice. He only completed two of his final nine passes, uh, had a couple, uh, a couple of clear misfires to Jacoby Myers, during that span. And on the other hand, Cam Newton really finished this practice strong. He went five for his last six, had a couple touchdown passes in there at the end. And really during the most uh, kind of competitively spirited period of this practice, Cam certainly looked uh, a little bit more capable than Mac Jones. Obviously very early, way too early to draw any conclusions from this quarterback competition, but that's what I saw out there from those two guys today. Now, I know you mentioned it's still very early, but the Patriots brought in some tight ends this off season. Have you made any observations about them on the field so far? Yeah, it's actually been a kind of a quiet camp so far for both Johnny Smith and Hunter Henry. Uh, I believe Johnny Smith has caught one pass in, in team drills in each of these first two practices. Uh, Hunter Henry came on strong late. He caught two of those kind of Cam Newton touchdown passes that I was mentioning earlier. I believe it might have actually been Cam Newton's final two throws of the day. Both went to, to Hunter Henry four touchdowns. Uh, I think it's still a, a bit of a, a working in period. Obviously, this is a very difficult offense for players to learn, uh, even veteran players like Smith and Henry. Uh, and I think we're going to see more of, of them together in, in the ways that the Patriots are going to be able to use those two tight end sets uh, that they used to use to great success back in the, uh, the early 2000s. I think we're going to see a little bit more of that moving forward. But yeah, definitely a, a bit of a quiet start for both of those two newcomers. And the Patriots, of course, easing into training camp. Any word yet on when the pads will come on and we'll see the players really get in action out there? 
According to Bill Belichick, that will be Tuesday. Uh, the Patriots will practice in shells the next two days, which is kind of soft shoulder pads. Uh, they'll probably have an off day on Sunday. And according to Bill Belichick, that is Tuesday. And I know a lot of the uh, a lot of the bigger players, especially a lot of those defensive front seven players, really excited to get those pads on because there's really only so much those type of guys can do in these non padded non-contact situations. So that, that's when the uh, the real competition and the real excitement is going to start up next Tuesday. Awesome. Well, day two of training camp in the books, and Zach Cox joining us. Thanks again, Zach. Thank you. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And that is it for this evening edition of Sports with Riley King. Thank you for watching, and have a great evening. Good night and goodbye.